I'm going to show you how to work German short rows. Now you work across the row until you want to work the short row, which I will do in this stitch. Okay, so we, on the knit side, you knit the stitch, and then you turn, slip the stitch to the right hand needle, and then bring the working yarn up and around the working the right needle to create this this double stitch. I'll, I'll just purl a couple more stitches and then we'll have a look at it. So see it's a it's a double stitch. The purl bump from the row below has been pulled upwards. And then on the front again it looks like this double stitch and they're hooked together at the top. Okay. So let's go across the purl row and I'll show you how to do a German short row on the purl side. So I'll work it into this stitch. We purl the stitch, turn the work, bring the yarn to the front, slip it to the right hand needle and then bring the working yarn up and over to the back. You can see how we're lifting up part of this stitch and creating another double stitch. So I'll knit a couple of stitches and then we'll have another look at it. So see it's a double stitch again hooked together at the top, another two strands on the back. I'll work across the row and I'll do another knit side one. So you can see here where the last short row was done because we've got this funny looking double stitch. So I'll do one on this one. So we knit the stitch, turn, slip the stitch to the right hand needle and then bring it up and around, creating another double stitch. All right, I'll purl across the row and work another one here. So purl the stitch, turn, bring the yarn to the front, slip the stitch across and pull it around. Then we'll knit, knit across. Now I'll show you how to pick up these stitches as well, or to work past them anyway. Okay, so we've got this double stitch here. We just work them as one. So you might want to think of it as a knit two together or just working them together. and then knit another short row stitch, knit and to the end of the row. Okay. It's pretty hard to see them, isn't it? All right. I'll go across the purl row and show you picking them up on the purl side, which is it's essentially the same thing, you just work the loops together. Sorry, I've got garter stitch edging and then purling across here. So you can see on the back side it's got a slightly larger lump. Another slightly larger lump that you can't really see it once it's all worked in. So here we've got a funny looking double stitch on the purl side and we simply work them together, purl them together. Okay, 
and garter stitch edge. So on the back, well, it's pretty hard to see where they are. Some slightly bigger lumps. On the front, really hard to see where they are. And that's how you do German short rows. 